Yeah, my entire life growing up, it was never like a Steven that was in my same class or anything. Like, I might have knew one other Steven. But I've got like four people on my friends list, real ID list, that are named Steven. Yeah, okay, like guys. I've got a bu bunch of buddies named up. Steven on my list as well. You taking off? Last one. Dude, I have like yeah. My name is not unique at all, by far. Like it's not even close. I'm like a pixel away from being like John Doe or Steve my Smith or something. The enemies I face will be weaker now. Have a good night, Arthur. Or John Smith Dang. or whatever the hell the common name is. Okay, good night, guys. Good night. The Biotox says we should pay them with rice. The bombs or whatever that we get the level of characters. Dude, I'm almost tempted to do that, though. Just go and buy them a pizza for the day and fucking just go get them, like... Did you know uh, people have had to do that before? 40. I guarantee it's been done. The, my only concern is like them robbing me or something, or them doing something weird, or taking a piss on my carpet or some shit. Or coming back and robbing me after I've already fed them and given them a 40. Yeah. If somebody broke into my house, they wouldn't be there long, at least not breathing. Got my semi-auto shotgun on a rack in the next room, and I got my 9mm right here next to me. Dude, I had a buddy that, like, legit used a shotgun on someone, like, chased him, like, through the neighborhood and kicked down, uh, kicked down their door to get try to get to him. Only went to jail for three years. <laughs> or prison. And I'm dead serious too, you probably find the article online. Yeah, I believe you. Like, the guy, like, his girl was all, like, getting insecure because he was spending all this time in World of Warcraft, a game I got him into. Like, originally, this is, like, back with, uh, BC and shit. And, um, it was right. Like, he went to jail right when, uh, Draft the Lich King came out, like, probably like a week after. I bet that drove him crazy. Oh, yeah, dude. He got out, like... Ah, oh, shit. I don't know. He, ended, he only ended up spending, like, two years and 11 months in prison. Me. Like, he got it cut down a month or some shit like that. I kind of remember him coming back before Cataclysm, but that can't be right. Maybe it was when Burning Crusade came out. Or not Burning Crusade, uh... Cataclysm. But yeah, like, his... His girl was getting all insecure because she was he was spending all this time in World of Warcraft. And, like, she started cheating on him with this crack dealer. And he went over to his house and pounded his window because he found his, her car over at his house. And he came out of the house with a fucking uh, a knife, right? So he bolts to his car and fucking grabs his shotgun and starts firing at him. He kicks down his door as the guy's running away and chases him down to the neighborhood and shit. <laughs> he was going to get him like his life depended on it. Well, come on, dude. Cheating, or his girl's cheating on him with this guy, and he comes at him with a knife. I mean, that was guy's gonna snap. <laughs> but like, I guess his dad was like ex-military or something, or like 
like really high ranking ex military or some shit like that, so he had connections with the judge or some shit like that and because of the situation it was like a known crack dealer and just the basic situation was yeah, we're just gonna give you three years. Which like ironically, a month later, something almost identically similar to that happened. And the guy got twenty five years. Yes. Or so he says. I, I can't confirm the 25 year guy, but I mean, he's not a type of guy that lies either. So. Uh, I believe what anybody says within reason, unless they give me a reason not to believe them. Though. Yeah, well, like, I. Like, he, I just believe him. Like, there's some people I just don't believe. Like, so many people, uh, tell me so much bullcrap information. It's just like, I don't really believe too many people. But this guy, I mean, like, I, this is like something I wouldn't believe. I'd be like, bullshit. But when this guy tells me, it's like, okay, I actually believe this shit. Another part of the reason I believed him is like, I was one of the people he called after he did it. Well, my wife and my mom and my grandma they said they feel sorry for anybody that ever tries to break into this house. Because since I got hit in the head and got nerve damage from the guy, uh, I've got like an, I don't, it was not an extreme case, but it's not a mild case of PTSD. How was that? Post traumatic stress disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look, most of the time I'm packing a gun, I've got a permit for it. But you can't tell I'm packing it. Because I bought a holster to. One that you can conceal pretty easily. That, and I've usually got a switchblade on me, too. I need more bodies! You think my seminars Somebody was uh, uh, trying to break into them? The, must have it's like a, fresh, an old trailer that my grandparents blood. used to this store stuff from their uh, business. A reply from you um, my wife and my grandma was outside. It was like late at night. And like, Somebody's over there. I heard them talking. I just pulled my gun out and fired into the trees. <laughs> we didn't hear them no more. They took off. Yeah, I don't blame them. I'm scared the crap out of my grandma and my wife. <laughs> they didn't know I had the gun on me. You make me very nervous. If I was there when that happened, I would have just been like, oh my god, you did not just do that. <laughs> I didn't fire at them, I heard which way they were from, like, which direction the sound came from, it was like a warning shot. I'm injured. So I live in Kentucky, I mean, there's hills, so the bullets stopped before it went anywhere. My dad heard about it the next day though and he just laughed. Dude, my dad's a prick. If he heard that I did something like that, man, I had the cops at my door. He wouldn't have to be there. He just hear that that happened and he just believed that I would do something like that. I wouldn't, but I mean if it's something negative, he just automatically assumes it's some problem shot. My parents are pretty cool with everything. Yeah. Anything I've ever done. My dad's always been a prick. First time I went to jail, like, it was over this uh, domestic fight, but, like, I never froze a finger towards them. Like, it was, like, le legit, they just started beating on me, and I just walked up. I, I literally was like, the one that stood up and called the cops, and I went to jail. I had a buddy that happened to. 
I'm six foot two, and they were like probably five foot three. And you know, I'm just naturally big boned. I'm I just look big, you know. But really, what I, I'm just more like a teddy bear, dude. I don't fucking fight. I'm not violent in any way. But did they believe me? Nah. Fuck the big big guy. I had to learn to fight so when I was growing up because I was like five foot flat until I was fourteen, and I shot up. Right now I'm like six one, almost six two, flat footed, without shoes on. Yeah, with me it was like uh, like you know how in a cop. See, is like a man-girl situation where if they get in a fight, the guy always goes to jail. Mm -hmm. And it's because, oh, the guy can defend himself. And he doesn't have to attack back. That was like literally the situation. I didn't attack back, I just called the cops and I went to jail. Like I did the one thing cops and every like society wants to see you do. But I was the one that went to jail. And I called my dad up when I, I was in jail. I was like, hey, listen, this is what's going on. And my dad tells me, well, this should teach you a lesson. Like, I, like, legit did anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty messed up. Yeah, I know. I'm like, Dad, dude, I didn't do this. I need healing. That's impossible. And I sat in jail. I'm like, this is another fucked up part. I sat in jail for 11 days. They had no evidence I did anything. They just took me to jail, and I sat there for 11 days before I can go to court. <laughs> That is pretty messed up. I mean, most of the time they have to arraign you within 24 hours. I know, right? I gotta dump my bags out. This guy's ripped me up. This guy's stuck me in a new asshole. And when I finally got out, I got a uh, state defender or whatever because I couldn't afford a lawyer at the time. And. Like, no matter how many times, I'm like, dude, just grab the tape. You can actually hear them, like, attacking me. There's no way they couldn't have heard the commotion and me just sit sitting there saying, hey, you know, I need, you know, the cops over here. And I was just like, there's no evidence whatsoever that says I did this other than one person's word versus mine. The, and the cop's word wouldn't have done anything any either because by the time he arrived there, I was just out front sitting on the grass and... That was it, you know. Yeah, they might have knew so someone. So it was one ver one's word versus something. another. No, he did. He did. The guy, the guy's, um, the guy's daughter was the one that attacked me, and he was an EMT for like twenty years. Oh, yeah, he had a bunch of things for you this fine day. But it was a domestic violence thing because I'm his stepson. I was living with him at the time, or I was his stepson. My mom didn't stay with him long after that fucking incident because she, everybody knows that his daughter had like fucking psychotic issues. And fucking like, I mean, the cop did the right thing. He got called another cop from another district, but when you're an EMT for 20 years, when you call a cop in from the next district over, it's like, yeah, it, you're not going to get a cop that doesn't know him. You know what I mean? Yeah. The only thing that happened is when he called, called a cop from out of that district, I lost all chances because at least in the district we were in, my dad was uh, city council. So at least I would have had at least some type of, you know, leniency. If it was that case, you know what I mean? Yeah, you would have had some kind of help, at least. Yeah, I, I, but I got a district, like a county fucking cop. It's probably some of the biggest assholes, in my opinion, are the county cops. At least out here. But he never even took a statement from me, dude. He never talked to me, he just arrested me, took me in, and it was like... He's not a witness. They're the only witness other than me was her or her dad. And you could even hear him. Like, he attacked me as well when I, she saw I was talking about, or calling the cops on her. 